Hey guys, um, today we have a uh, kind of a different figure. Other than Transformers, I also like Iron Man. So, last week I got the uh, Walmart exclusive 6 inch War Machine figure. And I am extremely impressed in this thing. This thing is absolutely stunningly uh, movie accurate. It's got absolutely every detail that the 3 3 4 inch figure has with more. As you can see, it's War Machine from the movie. He's got still got the red eyes. Let me focus that a little bit. There we go. Red eyes, but they got like they put like white stripes in them all of it, I guess to make it look glowing or something. Along with uh even the arc reactor has that. But as I said, this has extremely good posability and just accurateness. Um, of course he has his signature minigun that has the, um, belt of, uh, ammo, which is awesome. It seems to stay in a lot better than the 3 and 3 4 inch figure, as I've heard. So, yeah. Let's get into the, uh, posability. He has ball-jointed shoulders, hinged elbows, and then his hands are really cool because you can always switch them out. He has six different hands. It's like that. He's got like this uh, sort of half open fist. The fist. And then just the open hand. And I guess I'll put the open hand in right now. You just place it in there. As I was saying, he has great posability. He has a uh, torso movement. He also have the, has a Hasbro hip, so you're gonna have to like cook, put it to the side to get into some pretty good poses. Along with the minigun, he also has a, another weapon, which is this rocket launcher. And to put that on, all you have to do is take this little black piece right here. Just take it off, put your nail under it, and then that little hole right there, you put this in. And now he's got the rocket launcher for the movie also, which is pretty cool. It actually looks really awesome with that. What's also cool about uh, the midi gun is that, let's take this off, is that if you just detach this ammo belt, this can retract down all the way, just like that. It can also slide on this little rail right here. So instead of having it on his left shoulder, you can have it on his right shoulder like he has in the movie. Just like that. And this thing is definitely a must buy. He has great colors. The colors are even better than on the 3 3 4 inch figure. Even has a little uh, yield or yellow and black stripe sign right there and yeah he's got all of his little markings from the movie the FLTS and the Air Force S7 and yeah so I would definitely recommend this figure he's extremely posable he's, he's got great knees great feet and awesome looking head just completely awesome and I would definitely recommend it. You can only get this at Walmart for being a Walmart exclusive. So, that's it guys. See ya. Hey guys. Today, going along also with the 6 inch war machine figure, I also got this uh, Mark 6 Iron Man. The 3 3 4 inch figure. And I am also extremely impressed with it. As you can see, it's uh, Iron Man, or the Mark VI from Iron Man 2 and this thing is absolutely awesome the detail on this is just extremely good and it's nice and shiny just like it was in the movie as you can see it has all the gold sort of pinstripes all over his chest and his arms and and everything even his head sculpt is absolutely perfect to what the movie is Give you a little 360 of it. For posability, he has 
uh, his arms can go all the way around, can go up and down. He can uh, bend at the elbow, twist at the wrist, at both sides. His head can turn all the way around. Also with his chest, which is really nice, you can get him into some nice pose, poses. With Hasbro hips, you got kind of an angle at the side, but that's okay. Because you can still get him. And you can uh, sort of, kind of move the feet a little bit, but not much. He also comes with this uh, giant missile launcher that you can put on his right arm, if you can get it there. Uh, just like that. Oh. Just like that. Come on. Ah. Just like that. And I, it's okay for a weapon, I guess. I just guess they had to throw that in there just to, just for it. And it can shoot, and it actually has a, has a really good spring in it. So, okay then. There we go. And the figure also comes with this little stand with the three cards that uh, you can change and stuff. And I noticed on here that uh, right up the side here, I doubt you'll be able to see it, it says ironmancard.com. And I've tried to go on that site, but it just takes me to Marvel, and I guess it has something to do with this little code right here, this M4J48839E. Yeah, I have no idea what to do with that. So, if anyone can help me, leave a comment below. But, as I said, guys, this guy is absolutely awesome. I would definitely, definitely recommend everyone getting this if you like Iron Man. It's definitely one of the best Iron Man 2 figures in the line. See ya!